What's up guys, I'm Zach and welcome back to another video. Today we're getting into one of my favorite sneaker pickups of 2024. And of course, there is no other than the Fear of God LA Runner, I believe it's called. I'm going to throw it up on the screen if I did butcher the name because there is no branding on this box. And that's something I want to get into straight away because I love the overall box and the unboxing experience. Which of course starts with those three pillars right there for Adidas and Fear of God Athletics, which I really like. And for someone that you might have seen in my other videos. I really love boxes. It's really like an odd obsession of mine. I normally display them over there. However, as I've just sort of moved around my room, I've got to sort of shimmy things around. Regardless, love this total box. It feels like a very quality box. I don't know if that really interests you guys. Um, as I said, three pillars on the front. And you've also got that Adidas branding just there towards the side, which is sort of uh, debossed on that. And of course, you just unbox the pair by doing that. However, we have got the sneakers already out. So let's get straight into that because these are incredible. Now, honestly, when I first saw these online in the first run of Fear of God Athletics dropping, honestly, wasn't a fan of this model. Saw it see it online, didn't really like it, didn't even think it was worth it. However, once I saw it drop in this beautiful clay colorway, I thought, okay, beige oatmeal, I really love that. I think this is a little bit more of my style. You know what? I'll give it a go. And as I said in my previous video, looking at the Fear of God, basketball sneakers from adidas in that beautiful clay colorway as well i managed to actually get these on sale with a 30 percent off adidas online discount code which surprisingly i don't know how it worked for this drop considering i tried to buy sporty and rich pairs when they dropped with a discount code and of course that was excluded which is fair enough it's limited it's a new release however somehow it works for fear of god i know that these sneakers are sitting a little bit more than other pairs out there, especially in terms of collaborations. However, I think a lot of people are sleeping at the moment. And instead of sleeping on a model, I've been sleeping. I've been sleeping because this model right here is incredible. So let's get into some of the details other than the fact that it looks absolutely incredible in hand and the quality on this one is there. First of all, I really want to touch on it's very lightweight in terms of a sneaker, which was a big shock getting it in hand because honestly, looking at this mesh panel here, it looks quite stiff in photos. However, it's very, very soft and plush once you get it in hand. Very, very comfortable. And you have got that beautiful premium suede throughout, which is honestly incredible. And something Fear of God always does really well is it's all tonal. Head to toe, they kept the same tone throughout, which I love. And of course, you've got that same tone on the laces there, which also comes with a lock as well, which also is Fear of God branded there with, with the three stripes. Really love this one, and of course, other than that, you've only really got the Fear of God branding towards the back there on the heel, and you also have it on the insole, which has Fear of God Athletics there. Now, something that really did attract me to the model, other than the colorway, is I really do love this sole here. I believe this was also used on Fear of God. I believe it would have been 5th collection sneakers or 6th collection sneakers with that outsole there. So I believe they've actually attached that to the classic sort of Adidas outsole there which is, of course, a little bit high end with that Fear of God um, collaboration in terms of being a bit more of a thicker and sleeker sole. Really do love the way this silhouette looks. But first of all, let's get into sizing. Now, sizing, as I said, had a little bit of concerns with my Fear of God basketball sneakers in previous videos. I only just found out that really a 13 fits me better. And for reference, I am a size US 12 in all sneakers in terms of at least Nike and Adidas for the most part. So with this one, I did watch some reviews online of these first initial pairs and they did say to go true to size. So I did pick up my true to size here and it fit perfectly. I would highly recommend going true to size. This is a true to size fit, very comfortable. I'm a little bit slightly on the wider side and it still fit me great as it does have a little bit more of a wider toe box there, as you can see, but very, very comfortable. Now that was the biggest shocker here. This pair so lightweight and so ridiculously comfortable. I could wear this for hours on end. I have been wearing this for hours on end. Unfortunately, as you can see, the sole is starting in a little bit dirty. It's still clean. I've been trying to keep it clean, but I've been wearing these out. I really do love this pair. It is very comfortable to the T. With that being said, the quality on this one, as I said, very, very nice mesh used to wrap, which also does have almost like a, like a nylon coating on top. I can't be for certain, but it definitely feels like you're not just touching the actual mesh. So I can't tell if it's the sort of same similar type of material which is used over the fear of god basketball sneakers which helps reduce it from being you know like scarred by the elements and water and dirt and dust 
So I'm not too sure I can't quote on that, but I will say it is a very nice and high quality material used throughout this mesh and the coating over it. And you have got those beautiful suede details throughout. And I, once again, this suede, super, super plush, super, super premium. This is a premium sneaker after all. And that premium sneaker is not really reflected in the price of this model. I think this is definitely a lot more bang for your buck. So if you guys are on the fence, I would actually highly recommend picking up this pair over the Fear of God basketball pairs because I think this one just looks a lot better. As you can see on feet, it looks incredible, especially matching it with those Uniqlo U parachute pants in the beige. Beige on beige, am I being a little bit cringe? I can't tell, but I really do love that look. Personally, just love this silhouette all around and it's something that I'm sort of upset that I've slept on on the previous models in terms of the colorway. So I might actually try and go back and get them before I feel like hype starts growing on this pair. I don't know if that's ever going to be the case, but I will say once you have this pair in hand, you do want to pick up a lot more. With that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope this helped. If you guys are questioning about pick up this model, I would highly recommend it. Definitely stick true to size. I wouldn't recommend going a half size down or up in regards to sizing. Stick true to size. It'll be the best fit, the best look for you guys. And let me know down in the comment section below, do you love this beautiful oatmeal sesame or as Adidas likes to call it, clay, so it doesn't reference the Fear of God 1 Oatmeal colorway. Do you think this clay sneaker looks the best out of the bunch? I think it does personally. I love that Oatmeal colorway. And once again, the quality. I've been rubbing the suede back and forth all day. I, I think it's great. With that being said, yeah, let me know what you think of this colorway. Let me know what you actually think about this model, because as I said, I slept on this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call myself out right here. I slept on it, and now I'm really backtracking because I really love this pair. So let me know your thoughts down below. If you guys are thinking about picking up one, definitely get it now while there is a full size one available online and try and use an Adidas discount because I cannot believe I got 30% off this pair. It was under $200 Australian. It was around 160 Australian, which was absolutely absurd. It's less than a 550 and it's honestly, it's a collab. It's incredible qualities there. Regardless guys, I'm gonna stop rambling. And with that being said guys, drop a like down below if you enjoyed today's video. It's the best way to show your support and let me know you guys are enjoying the content. With that being said, hope you enjoyed today's video. Hope to see you next one. See ya.